Good morning traders and welcome to this weekly technical analysis video for Monday, June 19th. I'm Christina Parthenido, investment analyst here at XM.com uh, and at this video we'll be looking at the next three most important events uh, for this week and the pairs that are related to these events. Uh, so uh, we have two more central banks, uh, central bank meetings this week. Uh, the Bank of England and the Swiss National Bank will decide interest rates on Thursday, while on Friday, Eurozone's uh, flash PMI figures could be important to watch given the fact that the Eurozone has already entered a technical recession. So starting first with uh, pound dollar and uh, the Bank of England's uh, rate decision, uh, World forecast suggests that the central bank uh, will raise interest rates by uh, 25 basis points uh, but there's a small group of investors who believe that uh, the rate hike could be larger at uh, 50 basis point points so uh, if that proves to be the case if the central banks are prices to the upside or uh, perhaps uses a more hawkish communication telling that uh, more tightening uh, will happen during the next months so that could boost the rally in pound dollar which reached uh, more than one year high uh, last week so uh, if uh, that rally resumes we may uh, we may next uh, test the 1.30 psychological mark since there are no obstacles until that point uh, that is also where the 61.8 percent Fibonacci tracement of this uh, downtrend over here is located while uh, that constraining line from uh, September 2022 is also located here so uh, the 1.30 region could be uh, a key area to watch if this rally resumes uh, well looking at the uh, technical indicators down here well we have signs that uh, the market uh, is uh, is probably within the overbought zone uh, the r sign the stochastics have already reached their overbought level so there's a risk for a downside reversal but uh, that could uh, that could uh, take place once we uh, cross back below the 1.28 level which is currently acting as support uh, this uh, a broken ascending uh, trend line from September 2022 lows are also uh, located here therefore a break below that region could uh, trigger the next uh, decline in the market uh, likely sending the price down to the previous one year high of 1.2678 or slightly lower to 1.2650 where the price found support uh, last week uh, lower than that uh, the pair could next get congested somewhere between this uh, broken uh, long-term resistance trend line from 2021 and the surface and the upper bound of this uh, Ichimoku cloud uh, both seen between 1.258 and 1.2540 uh, uh, there might be some uh, sideways move here before we reach this uh, short-term support trend line seen around 1.2465 and uh, now turning to the next central bank the Swiss uh, National Bank uh, well uh, forecasts here are well investors here are more indecisive about uh, what uh, the next rate hike will be uh, there is a uh, well uh, there is a 50 a 50 chance uh, for a 50 basis point rate hike so uh, if uh, that could bring that could raise uh, some extra volatility in dollar swiss franc if uh, the central bank raises interest rates by a larger 50 basis point rate hike despite inflation being uh, more or less more balanced in switzerland than in other major economies such as uh, eurozone the us uh, that could extend uh, dollar swiss francs uh, uh, decline uh, below uh, the 0.89 level we can see that the pair is also uh, trying to find support around june's uh, 2021 low for 0.8930 so if that region between 0.8930 and 0.89 uh, breaks uh, well collapses that could uh, press the pair towards uh, the two and a half year low for 0.8819 uh, registered uh, back in at the start of may uh, lower than that um, we may see uh, the pair could next find support around the 2021 low for 0.8755 while below that, uh, the focus will turn to the 0.8665 and 0.8635 region, where these uh, support lines coming from uh, 2022 are uh, located. Uh, well, uh, looking at the technical indicators, well, uh, the bias is uh, still bearish here. We can see that both the stochastics and the RSI are still uh, trending uh, 
downwards, uh, but if the pair manages to stay above uh, 0.8930, uh, we might see another battle near the 0.8980 key region where the price uh, found uh, resistance a couple of times during the previous months. Uh, the 50-day uh, moving average is also located here, therefore a close higher could uh, uh, probably um, confirm additional gains likely towards the 20-day moving average seen around 0.9035. Uh, while higher than that, it will be interesting to see whether the pair will return, uh, will get back into this uh, tight uh, bullish channel above 0.8125 and uh, eventually test this uh, resistance line from June 2022 at 0.9175. And uh, finally, turning to uh, Friday's Eurozone preliminary PMI figures. Uh, the data are expected to uh, slow down uh, once again. Uh, if, uh, the, if the surprise, uh, if, the neck, if the data surprise to the downside, uh, signaling that uh, the eurozone economy is probably further weakening and that uh, the technical recession could uh, further deteriorate, uh, that could uh, send euro dollar. Uh, probably to the downside, uh, the pair is currently trying to uh, set a strong foothold around the 0.920 region. That is where the 61.8 percent Fibonacci retracement of this downfall over here is located. Uh, well, uh, if that breaks, if the data send the price below that level, uh, then the next support could develop near the 50 percent Fibonacci of 1.08. Uh, 60 while lower than that uh, the pair could uh, retest its uh, 20 and 50 day moving averages around uh, slightly above 1.0810 uh, where the 38.2 percent Fibonacci level is uh, uh, placed uh, well looking at the uh, technical indicators down here uh, well we see that the RSI is still above its 50 neutral mark despite uh, weakening a bit. The MACD has also entered the bullish territory and the stochastics are still rising above the 80 overbought level. So uh, that suggests the bullish bias and uh, it increases speculation that uh, uh, the pair might have another opportunity for a rebound, that it could resume this uh, uh, impressive uh, rally that happened last week. So, uh, well, we see that uh, we have a dodgy, uh, a bearish dodgy candlestick over here. But if this, uh, if today's candlestick uh, turns green again, if we rebound to near 1.0920 and move higher, then the pair may retest the 1.10 psychological mark and perhaps uh, revisit the 1.1033 and 1.1050 key uh, constraining zone from uh, from spring uh, break of which could then. Uh, probably challenge the one-year high of 1.1094 registered back in at the end of April uh, while uh, a break while slightly higher and a move above 1.1123 uh, could take us back to 1.1185 and 1.1220. Uh, uh, so uh, that's all for this week's uh, key uh, events and uh, FX charts. Uh, we will be back next time to, uh, to discuss more about uh, fundamental and technical news. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.